Hey guys, and welcome back to another Halloween video. Uh, now, before this video even starts, I just wanted to say uh, apologies for my absence. I have been very busy at school and work, and uh, it's been leaving me with little time to do uh, videos, but I do have some retired buildings that I am excited to talk about. And to start us off, I'm going to be reviewing one of the pioneer buildings of Lemax Spooky Town. This is Dr. Tingle's Laboratory. Now, some of you might be thinking, uh, Landon, uh, didn't you review that piece already? Yes, I have, but I wanted to remake that video as this is actually a very significant piece for me. And uh, I don't think I quite did it justice in my original video, so I kind of wanted to give an updated review of this piece. So, uh, to get into the actual building and why it's a significant one for me, uh, if you have seen my original video, you probably already know this, but, you know, I've been in this hobby ever since I was a little kid. You know, I've had many years of being into Spooky Town, and, uh... This is actually a piece that uh, I kind of grew up with, and uh, the reason why it's an integral building to me is this was the building that terrified me when I was a kid. Uh, again, I went over this in my original video, but this piece scared me so bad that I wouldn't even come downstairs if it was turned on, and uh, it was largely due to the soundtrack, which I'll discuss later, and of course I'll play uh, the full soundtrack at the end of the video, but yeah, this piece was kind of a source of childhood trauma for me, and... Still, 18 years later, I consider this one of the scarier pieces you're going to find in Halloween Villaging, so, you know, I guess with my trauma dumping, uh, you know, out of the way, let's actually talk about the specifics of this building. So, Dr. Tingle's Laboratory actually came out the same year the Spooky Town line debuted in 2000. This is also the first Spooky Town piece that uh, utilizes sound and the lightning effect. So, uh, as you can see in the video here, so it kind of sets the stage for future sights and sound pieces that Lemax would do. So, the theme of this building is of course that of the Mad Scientist Laboratory. Now, I have mentioned before that I love the Mad Scientist motif for Halloween, and surprisingly there aren't that many uh, Mad Scientist Laboratories in Halloween Villaging. Uh, last year, Lemax had Dr. Gory's Laboratory, which was one of my favorite buildings from last year. They had the Frankenstein's Laboratory, which is a classic piece, and Department 56 did one a long time ago, I believe, but uh, in general, there aren't a lot of mad scientist laboratories out there, so it's cool to know that this was one of the first Spooky Town... It's, just, it's cool to know that one of the first Spooky Town pieces was a lab, so... As you can see, there are several details that tie into the mad scientist theme. You have the various windows that have the various beakers and graduated cylinders that have chemicals in them. Uh, you have the signs on the porch that say amputation, dissection, and embalming. Up top, you have various antennas and even an electric insulator. And of course, I can't uh, forget the body that's strapped down on top of the piece, which is obviously a, no a nod to uh, Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory. So, uh, this piece is ultimately, uh, like I said, it's ultimately a mad scientist laboratory, but something that I think is kind of cool about this piece is I actually think that this would work great uh, in a neighborhood scene, as it kind of looks like a traditional house that had been converted into a secret laboratory. So I think that it is uh, pretty cool that this piece actually kind of has some double duty theming, that it could go in a neighborhood, or you could put it with a mad scientist theme. So uh, I think it's pretty cool how uh, versatile this piece is. Okay, so let me talk about the soundtrack on this piece. Now, uh, like I mentioned, the soundtrack terrified me as a kid. And, uh, You'll hear it at the end of the video, but uh, it's a very atmospheric soundtrack, there's no talking, so it actually would work pretty well as a background sound for your village, you know, like, because it doesn't have the talking, it would just be very good, you know, for uh, some nice ambiance, and you know what, uh, let's hear a snippet of the sound so you can hear what I'm talking about. The combination of the wolf howling followed by the lightning and the thunder really freaked me out as a kid, and I still think that this piece has one of the more haunting uh, soundtracks in Halloween Villaging, so uh, I still think that this piece is a very scary one uh, all these years later. So something interesting to note here, um, it looks like that there were two uh, different models of this piece, so the original model used an incandescent light for the uh, lightning, and uh, it had an adapter jack that looked like this, but the one uh, that I'm showing off in this video, 
uh, actually uses the standard Limax 4.5 volt adapter that's also compatible with the tri adapter so I'm assuming that the one that I have today is a later model so all right guys that was my updated review of Dr. Tingle's laboratory again it's a very important piece for me it was a source of childhood trauma but over the years I really began to appreciate it and I would really say that this is probably uh, my favorite pre-2004 uh, Limax Spooky Town piece, if nothing, if nothing else for the impact that it had on me. So, really cool piece. Again, I love the Mad Scientist theme, and, um, you know, this is a really good one if you wanted a Mad Scientist piece. So, alright guys, that is going to do it for my first retired Spooky Town piece of the year. Thank y'all for so much for watching, and once again, apologies for the gap in uploads, but I've got more in store for this year. And to tease what I'll have next time, we are going to explore an abandoned cathedral. So, until then, here is Dr. Tingles with the full soundtrack.